Hello everyone, welcome to Scaria.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today we're going to discuss the orbital tumors. So basically, the tumorous conditions can arise um, elsewhere in the body as well as in the orbital cavity. Mainly, we can classify the orbital tumors into primary, secondary, and on the other hand, we have the metastatic tumors. Over here in this lecture, we'd be summarizing the developmental tumors. So primarily when we talk about the developmental tumors, we have the dermoids, we have the epidermoids, and we have the lipodermoidal cysts uh, that will be discussed over here in this lecture. We'll be discussing the vascular tumors as well. Majorly, we can classify the vascular tumors into the hemangiomas as well as uh, they can be subclassified into lymphangiomas if the lymphatics are affected. So there would be this uh, typical clinical presentations regarding this vascular tumors. We'd be discussing the signs and symptomatologies over here. Moreover, we'd be discussing the mesenchymal tumors. Primarily, how do you clinically, uh, how do these patients clinically present to you? And then how do you make a differential diagnosis in these patients is very important. Uh, then there are this multiple treatment modalities that are present out there and we'd be giving you a brief summary towards this mesenchymal tumors. We'd be discussing the gliomas that are surrounding the optic nerve or the optic nerve sheath. So they will have their own compression syndromes on the optic nerve, their compression effects, and that is basically going to affect the vision of the individual. The patient would also give you the history of a decreased or a blurred vision. And along with that, there would be the signs of optic atrophy, and then how would you basically treat these patients that would be discussed over here. We'd be uh, quickly going through the meningiomas, the different sorts of meningiomas, the clinical presentations, the signs and symptomatologies, and the uh, typical treatment modalities or the treatment plans for these patients. The lymphoproliferative tumors are one of their kind and their clinical presentation is basically involving the lymph nodes that are situated uh, at the periocular area or the periorbital area. So this kind of a swelling, how is it diagnosed and how do you send it for the histopathology for the further investigations that would be discussed over here. The approaches are again very important because sometimes there are these secondary orbital tumors. Apart from all of these primary orbital tumors, we have secondary orbital tumors that are basically invading uh, from the neighboring structures. So we'd be discussing them briefly over here. And then finally, the metastatic orbital tumors from the kidneys, from the ovaries, or the testicular region, or the Ewing sarcomas, all of these would be discussed over here in this lecture. The common orbital tumors are discussed and how can we basically diagnose by just having the, or by just looking at the age of the patient. How can you diagnose the most common tumors in these individuals? We have a variety of lectures on our website, so do watch these lectures. Thanks for watching scario.com and get access to watch the complete lecture.